This content is sponsored by Nintendo of Canada. Hey, it's Victor Lucas from the Electric Playground, and I am thrilled to be partnering with Nintendo of Canada. And today I want to talk to you guys about Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, which I think is a pretty sweet deal and truly a no-brainer for any Nintendo Switch owner. So at its core, Nintendo Switch Online is the service that will allow you to connect with other people in different homes across the city, across the country, around the world, and play online games with them. You need it if you want to play online video games on the Nintendo Switch platform. Now, if you pick up the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, you're also going to be getting a library of retro games or a variety of different classic Nintendo platforms like the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which are both included with the base Nintendo Switch Online membership, but with Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, you also get the Nintendo 64 library and also the Sega Genesis. Another huge part of Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack is you have access to downloadable content for excellent Nintendo Switch games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Animal Crossing New Horizons, which both have DLC that is included as part of the package. And in fact, Wave 2 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass has just launched and there are eight new courses that have been added and a lot more to come. So all of this incredible DLC for these seminal games is a huge part of the reason why you want Nintendo Switch Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Another major benefit is that you can actually put your save games for your Nintendo Switch system into the cloud, and that means that you can download them to a new Nintendo Switch if you pick up another Nintendo Switch system down the road. Or, heaven forbid, you lose your Nintendo Switch system, you're able to download all of your progress and your save games to whatever Nintendo Switch system that you want. So it's an incredible way to back up your saves and then carry on on a different Nintendo Switch system down the road. It's very, very handy. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members also get some pretty great special offers like the Nintendo Switch Online's Missions and Rewards, which give you the ability to earn my Nintendo Platinum Points, which you can exchange for exclusive rewards like Icon Elements and other digital and physical items from the My Nintendo Store. And then you also have access to exclusive online multiplayer games like Tetris 99 and Pac-Man 99. But absolutely, my favorite part of the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack deal is the access to all of these unbelievable classic video games. I have just been blown away that I can dig into the NES library, the Super NES library, and particularly the Nintendo 64 library. Because for me, I was around covering all of these games launching on the Nintendo 64 the first time. So playing games like Super Mario 64 or Star Fox 64, it kind of brings everything around full circle for me. I remember traveling to the Electronic Entertainment Exposition and meeting Shigeru Miyamoto and talking to him about Star Fox and the other titles that he was working on and it's just been a phenomenal experience for me to re-experience these games again and play them on my beautiful TV in increased resolution and they just look so great. Nintendo's done a very good job at porting all of these games over to the Nintendo Switch platform and it's been fun to share them with my family. My family and I play a lot of Dr. Mario 64. I've shown a bunch of classic Super NES titles and Sega Genesis titles to my daughter and it's just been really fun to kind of have this time machine and as great as these games look on my television I'm a lucky owner of a Nintendo Switch OLED model and to see those beautiful pixels on that OLED screen always takes my breath away. I love retro gaming and I love the ease of use and the ease of access to all of these classic games on Nintendo Switch. And so I wanted to dig a little bit deeper and give you guys my first five games that I would play for each of the different systems that you can pick up in Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. So that's the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the Nintendo 64, and the Sega Genesis. Let's get started with my first five for the NES. I've got a bit of an eclectic list here that starts with number five with River City Ransom. I've always loved the combat and the RPG elements that have been fused together in this big-headed, super cute, but unbelievably deep and satisfying NES classic. It's an incredible game. You definitely do not want to miss this one. If you haven't played it, I'm envious of you. Number four is Earthbound Beginnings, and this was a recent addition to the NES library from Nintendo. It's something that Nintendo fans have been asking for for a long time. It's kind of a, you know, a more modern-day take on a lot of classic JRPG staples. A great sense of humor, a lot of tongue-in-cheek, and a really terrific first look at this franchise that is beloved by so many. Number three is Metroid, the original, the one that gave us Samus Aran with all of the mystery and the intrigue and the challenge. This is a 
very tough game, but it's a beautiful game and it's so expertly crafted. And I would say be prepared to take full advantage of that save at any time feature that Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack delivers. Number two is The Legend of Zelda, the original, the classic that introduced us to Link and the grand adventure that he must go on traversing through Hyrule. It's so surreal to go back to the roots and to see how much of that has been carried over through each subsequent Legend of Zelda experience right up to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's really this fantastic full circle. It plays beautifully in 2022. It serves also as a history lesson for the video game industry because so many titles have borrowed liberally from the unbelievable designs of this seminal game. And number one has to be Super Mario Brothers 3 for the NES, which really gave us a sense of how big Mario games could be, how refined and how mature the game designs were. This was a team at Nintendo that built us one of the best 2D scrolling adventures of all time. Super Mario Brothers 3 is a classic. I doubt you haven't played it, but even if you have, this is one to go back and re-experience again and again. All right, let's switch over to the Super NES now. And number five for me is Super Punch-Out. This is just such an awesome and hilarious boxing game. It's Nintendo's take on a sport that could be pretty brutal, but, you know, with the cartoony qualities of all of these awesome characters that you get to fight as, as little Mac kind of training and getting better as a boxer, and you working on your timing and the systems in the game. It's so fun, it's so rewarding, and it's so highly replayable. Number four is Star Fox on the Super Nintendo, and man, I can remember playing this one for the first time. The voices coming out of the system, the polygonal graphics, the kind of exploration that you could do in your spaceships, and all of the power-ups and secrets that this game held. So incredible, such a beautiful work of art, and such a great addition to the Super NES library. Number three for me is Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo, and I know this is number one for a lot of you. I get it. It's amazing. It's probably, in my opinion, the best 2D platform game that's ever been designed. It was so so refined and so beautiful and such a revelation moving from 8-bit to 16-bit Mario experiences. It was such a massive game too with all of these unbelievable worlds to explore and all the secrets that this game held and the different powers and abilities that Mario was able to pick up along the way. Incredible game and yes it kind of broke my heart to put it at number three but I'll tell you why. Number two is The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past which is many people's favorite Zelda game and I totally get that. It's superb. It's got a bit of a surreal real story that really kind of twists your perception, all kinds of incredible dungeons to explore and defeat and, and bosses to fight and cool weapons and abilities that Link can pick up along the way. This is just a total treat to experience or re-experience and it's such a great fit on Nintendo Switch. And so you're wondering what number one is for me on the Super Nintendo, a system that is just loaded with juggernaut games. Well, it's Super Metroid and even though I have beat this and I've played it uh, over and over again, I've owned it on multiple Nintendo platforms. It's such a perfect fit on Nintendo Switch. I played it on the Nintendo Switch OLED model over the holidays, and oh my god, it's just so perfect. It's such a beautiful creation with so much ambition and so much refinement and so many rewards, and of course it's all about secrets and reach reversal and just being an amazing bounty hunter as Samus Aran. I love this game, and it just grows in my estimation over time. All right, let's switch over to the Sega Genesis, which you also get as part of the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack Classic System lineup. And number five for me is Mega Man The Wily Wars. This is a very collectible cartridge if you can find it for the Sega Genesis that you might have in your house. To go and find this cartridge is going to cost you quite a bit of money. So it's so cool that Capcom and Nintendo and Sega worked out a deal to bring The Wily Wars to the Sega Genesis as part of Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. This this is a great collection of the original three Mega Man games, which appeared on the NES, but they've been modified a bit for the Sega Genesis platform with some enhanced visuals and a different kind of audio setup because the Sega Genesis sounded different than the NES or the Super NES. But these are seminal games, um, incredible run and gun and action platformer type of experiences. Challenging, but rewarding with so many cool boss fights, so many unbelievable robot encounters that you have to get into. It's fantastic that this game is part of the Sega Genesis lineup. Number four for me is a flying shooter called Musha, and this is one I'd never played before, so I was very happy to find this. It's got beautiful visuals, lots of projectiles to avoid in your ship, but of course lots of incredible power-ups and beautiful 
beautiful scrolling backgrounds and awesome high-tech enemies that are coming after you. Lots of incredible boss fights that you're going to get into as well. It's challenging, but it's gorgeous with a phenomenal soundtrack, incredible production values. And again, I think this is a very highly collectible cartridge if you're going to go try to find the original. So it's awesome that it's part of the Sega Genesis package when you pick up Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Musha is incredible. Number three for me is the superb run and gun game called Gunstar Heroes that Treasure made for the Sega Genesis. You play as a couple of different heroes and you go up against a lot of different bosses and there's a kind of a choose your path quality to the game as well. Lots of insane power-ups and special effects. Treasure was a company that was renowned for pushing the hardware of the Sega Genesis platform and boy does that show in this game. Arguably their best title, although they've done so many cool games that there's lots of contenders for that crown. But Gunstar Heroes is not to be missed. It's super fun. Another fantastic fit. Number two for me is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which introduced new characters and new elements of the Sonic lore, which kept growing and growing with each iteration of the Sonic video games. This was, I think, peak Sonic in 2D. Really refined levels, beautiful music, and lots of really cool challenges. The thing that's amazing about Sonic is along with that speed and that sort of tremendous kinetic quality to get to the end is all of this exploration, all of the different paths that the developers put in for you to explore and try to find the secrets of. All of the Sonic 2D games are so replayable because the chances are pretty good that you sped right past something that you've never noticed before. So it's wonderful that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is included in the Sega Genesis collection. But number one for me is Streets of Rage 2. This is one of the best brawlers, if not the best brawlers, that was built for the 16-bit generation. Incredible visual effects and zany over-the-top characters. You're fighting all kinds of gang members and punching and kicking them all over the street and doing damage to the environments. And there's lots of great little Easter eggs and cut sequence bits that really draw you into the story and the insanity of Streets of Rage. But I think one of the best parts of this game, and I know many of you will agree with me, is the incredible music. The soundtrack to Streets of Rage 2 is so awesome, but it's that cooperative brawling gameplay that just keeps you coming back for more. You don't want to skip this one. Definitely play this if you pick up Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. All right, we're going to shift over to the Nintendo 64, and number five for me is Dr. Mario 64, and this is a game that I've come to really appreciate recently thanks to the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack collection. My wife loves this game, and she is so great at it. She crushes my daughter and I every time we play, although my daughter has gotten much better at it too, so now they both team up and beat me like crazy in this game. They have a lot of patience for putting down all the pills and taking out all the viruses. Catchy music that's going to stick in your head, but it's really about that satisfying puzzle gameplay that's so much fun when you play it with friends and family, even if they're much better at it than you are, which is the case for me. Number four from the Nintendo 64 collection is F-Zero X. This is a game that is going to test your patience because it's super fast. It's anti-gravity racing with a wide assortment of interesting characters and really cool futuristic hover cars or space cars and lots of tracks that are incredibly dangerous. You're going to be bouncing off of walls and sometimes no walls flying into the city down below. <laughs> it's challenging, but it's gorgeous and super fast, and it's such a nice treat to play on the Nintendo Switch. Number three from the Nintendo 64 collection is Star Fox 64, which plays just beautifully in 2022. This is a gorgeous game. It's really an enhancement of the original Star Fox game that we got for the Super NES, with a lot more fluidity and a lot more beautiful visuals and a mature kind of design sensibility all the way through it. It's incredibly satisfying to play this game, to take out all of the enemy ships that are flying in around you, to avoid and navigate through asteroid fields and into giant capital ships to take down giant bosses. Such a delight and such a wonderful escape for longtime Star Fox fans like myself that remember the original quite fondly. Number two used to be my favorite video game of all time. It's Super Mario 64, and man, this is a game that really showed the world what 3D platforming could be. It laid down a lot of the fundamentals and a lot of the language for how you could navigate in a 3D platform game with a character like Mario. Here we go! All of the inventiveness that we saw from the 2D era of the Mario games was applied to this 3D design, and it's breathtaking. It's really amazing to re-examine it now, but 
man, it is still so much fun. There's so many cool challenges and so many great powers that you pick up as Mario and such cool bosses and giant creatures that you have to contend with. Super Mario 64 is seminal and you definitely need to play it. And how cool is it that it's just part of the Nintendo 64 collection? But number one for me from the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack collection is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This was a staggering accomplishment when it was released back in the day. So many awe-inspiring moments and such beautiful design and lots of interesting characters that you would run up to and talk with. Lots of just reward all the way through. Some of the dungeons can become a little bit challenging for sure. I'm looking at you, Water Dungeon. Uh, but you're going to feel like a champion as you progress into the story and figure out the systems and get deeper into this game. It's still an incredible experience to play in 2022. I had to give it to Ocarina of Time. And that's the thing about Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack is that there are all kinds of surprises, new additions being added all the time. If you have a Nintendo Switch, I definitely think you should check out the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. I think it's a no-brainer.